Hello everyone, this is Maurizio, editor-in-chief of Embedded.com. I am here at Innovex in Taiwan and I have the pleasure to be here with one of the winners of IC Taiwan Grand Challenge with Rolf Muralt, Chief Product Officer at Turbonex.ai. Hi Rolf, nice welcome aboard. Nice Thank to meet you. you too. Thank How you. are you? I'm good, I'm good. It's great good. to be here, first day. It's good. hot, it's yeah. Taiwan. Good. So, Ralph, congratulations on winning uh, your uh, project, winning the uh, IC Taiwan Grand Challenge. Could you share uh, about yourself, about your company and your winning project? Sure. So I lead the uh, product function at uh, TurboNext. TurboNext is a startup company. We're mm -hmm. about a year old. We have uh, just about 50 people now. We are a global company, right? As a lot of startups today, we're, we're a global company. We have teams in Singapore, we're headquartered in Singapore. We have teams in Taiwan. We have teams in the EU, as well as the US. I'm based in Silicon Valley. Good. So what is uh, uh, the core innovation technology uh, your team is working on? And uh, how, is, uh, how is it different from existing solutions? Tell me more. Sure. So we see 2025 as the year of AI inference. And um, obviously, uh, there's been a lot of focus on training in the last few years. And uh, the GPU has been the workhorse for training models, right? But the point of training a large language model is to then make money with it, right? There's no point to just train a model in and of itself. And so it turns out that as the operators, hyperscalers, cloud operators, large enterprises are looking at these models, and by big models, I mean a Meta Llama 70 billion model. DeepSeek was obviously a huge breakthrough this year, mixture of expert models, reasoning models. These require a lot of horsepower, but they also require a lot of memory. So they're memory-bound workloads, and the GPU is not ideal for our memory-bound workload. Training was compute-bound, now AI inference is memory-bound. So we focus on adding on to the GPU as a system to have better performance for AI inference. So talking about applications, what are the main application areas you are targeting? Uh, so there's one. Uh, so the single, the single application we focus on is uh, AI inference. It's essentially, think of a chatbot, right? Millions okay. of users using chatbots. Maybe it's hosted by a cloud service provider, maybe a large enterprise. And when you ask questions to that chatbot, there's processing that needs to happen. But unlike training, it's not a single workload. There's thousands, maybe millions of sessions that are happening in parallel. And so you need a lot of memory to hold the state, the brain of that, of that model at any point in time. And so we help the GPU by offloading the storage of something called KV cache or key value cache, and essentially being able to have the GPU run more efficiently as a result of that. And talking about uh, challenges as a startup of the IC industry, so what about the biggest uh, challenges that you face and how have you addressed them? Typically for a startup, of course, we're a, a fabless semiconductor startup, right? We don't own the factory, and so we have a team in Taiwan because we have partners in Taiwan to eventually make the chip. But one of the traditional challenges with companies that make chips is it takes some amount of time to produce that chip. And in that period of time, it is sometimes difficult to engage with customers, get feedback. And this is an area that is very fast moving, yeah. right, obviously. And so what we have done to address that challenge is while we are building the chip, we also have a software stack and that software stack allows us to run large models more efficiently. And so we are doing this on top of GPUs like NVIDIA H100s, like AMD GPUs like the 2025X. And so we can essentially bring benefits to these workloads before we even have a chip. In conclusion, so congratulations for this uh, IC Taiwan Grand Challenge. What uh, award, what does uh, this award mean for your team and what's next? Could not be prouder of the team. Obviously, that's that's one, you know, it's a validation of the work that the team has done. We are growing as a company, so it's also having visibility and being able to engage with people a little bit earlier on in terms of both and new talent as well. And new talent, and then of course customer validation. So we're just about to start our first set of POCs, proof of concept. And so again, seeking validation, product market fit. 
Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh no, thank you. Thank you. Take care. See you next. Maurizio. Bye. Thank you.